So we wanted to give everyone a little bit of an update on what's going on with the Studebaker. As you may recall, in a recent video, we found that some of the pistons were actually coming up and touching the heads. And on top of that, Brandon also wanted to resurface the heads and take about 10 thousandths out of the deck surface on the block. The goal was to get a little bit more compression out of it by doing that, but because the pistons were coming up and touching the heads, he also had to grind a little bit out of the chamber there to prevent the pistons from hitting the heads anymore. So after all that, we figure compression is probably a wash, maybe gained about a half a point out of it. He also did some smoothing and port matching on the tunnel ram and the heads. Also, this thing had a pretty junky set of old carbs on it. So we tossed those and grabbed a set of 850 double pumpers so this thing can really breathe. Now. After all those mods, this thing has got to be making at least 600 horsepower, and probably quite a bit more than that. He also installed an oxygen sensor so he can dial these things in a little bit more precisely, which actually works surprisingly well with open headers, believe it or not. That's going to do it for this update. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when this thing rips down the track. That last time you got on it, I was like, man, we should nickname this thing the Vomit Comet. <laughs> the Vomit Comet. <laughs>